Maybe somebody can explain this shit to me. But how do you correctly pronounce Hearthstone? Look, you've got the word hearth. You get rid of the first H and you have Earth. So is it Hearthstone? But you get rid of the second H and it's Heart. So is it Hearthstone? Hmm? It's a conversation for another time, folks. I'm Cass and we're playing Hearthstone today. Uh, a game which I like to think I'm good at, but I'm actually pretty terrible at. Uh, it's in closed beta right now. And it's surprisingly really good. It's really simple as far as, like, trading card games go. But I'm going to play a couple casual matches with this shaman. Show you guys what's up. Show you my playstyle. Show you this horrible, horrible shaman deck that I've been too lazy to fix. Because uh, this game's really great, and I've been really enjoying it. And hopefully... Hopefully you guys can get in on the beta, too. I don't know... If, how many of you have played it yet, but it's pretty awesome. The, um... problem that I'm having right now with this crap is that <laughs> once the beta's over, they're, they're basically resetting everything. We have to start over. On the plus side, uh, if you spend any money, they give it back to you in gold once the beta's over. So there's that. Oh, I wanted to play against the world-class oh, paste eater. Alright, Thrall's a shaman. Uh, and I go first, which means I don't get an extra card. And I'm gonna get rid of this because there's no way in hell I'm gonna play... I'm, I'm just wasting a spot in my deck with a 7 mana card. Zero, that works, but I also now have nothing that I can... <laughs> Alright. Well, you've got minions and spells, basically. Um... And I can't do anything, so... Oh, I didn't say hello. That's rude of me. Greetings, friend. My hero power. I summon a random totem. There are like three different kinds of totem. One of them is a taunter, hello? which means they have to hit that first. So it's pretty good if... You know, I'm just taking a bunch of damage to have some taunters out there. For example, this guy. Oh, yeah. Ready for action! Alright, I've put him out there. He's got one attack, two health. Health is persistent for these guys, so like if he takes one damage, he's still gonna have one health left. It's not like uh, Magic the Gathering or a bunch of the other ones. And of course, I did that. Why wouldn't they do that? When I first started playing this game, Yep. <laughs> when I first started playing this game, I got I got I, I, the big problem that I had was I would be throwing a lot of power at them, doing a lot of damage, but they'd always take me out because apparently the big the big problem that I was having is board control. It's really important to keep control of the board. Like, I always want to have more minions if I can, or at least a way to get rid of them. Good god. And so far, it's pretty neck and neck. And here's how I'm going to handle that. Hmm. Uh, these are the mana crystals. These are what you spend to buy things. I'm gonna put both of these guys out because anything next to him gets plus two attack. And these cost zero. Hooray. Now watch her completely destroy them in one turn. So, I want to get rid of that taunter, because I can't do any damage to her, but these only do two damage, so I'm going to go ahead and use this early. I know I'm burning cards, and that's a no-no, but I, I kind of, <laughs> I really want to maintain control of the board, because I never win unless I do that. And 
Also, I'm gonna turn this guy into a taunter and get his health back up. Hooray! Yeah, and that'll be that. So now I've got a little bit of extra protection from something with a lot of health. Normally the way that I play, I've been playing this deck is I, I try and get as many totems out on there, as I, out on the board as I can. I have a lot of stuff that just boosts the crap out of totems. And that guy's gotta go. So we'll go ahead and cast that. It's just free damage right there. But it does overload, which means the next turn, the number of overload, I don't have that mana available to me. Get another totem out there. This guy's gonna heal everything at the end of each turn. Um, so we'll go ahead and get rid of this guy so he's not gonna do as much damage when I attack the Quillisk here. But I'm not gonna do that. Because I definitely have control of the board right now. <laughs> It'd just be unnecessary. I do need to keep doing damage to the enemy. So far, this is looking pretty good, though. See, they can't attack my healer because I got the taunt there. They have to attack that first. Her hero power can still attack me directly, though. Ooh, that I need to get rid of. What a perfect card. <laughs> well, this is turning out really great so far. I still kind of want to whittle away at this Crocolisk. I want to get rid of him eventually. The more that I have on the field and the less that she has on the field, the better. I always ha hate it when they start playing taunt. That makes my job so much harder. People sending me messages. Alright. I'm going to put this guy next to these totems so he gets the double benefit there. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to start off with, but that's okay. Hmm. Anything I attack is gonna hurt hard, so I'll just go ahead and. No, I'm gonna let him come to me. I'm still in a position of power here, especially this guy. He's got Wind Fury, plus he's getting the buff from the two extra totems here. So, instead of his normal three, he's doing seven damage, but Wind Fury means he can attack twice. So if I get rid of that Taunter... Uh, that's a really good thing, because that means I can basically just do 14 damage to... I suppose he could also do that. Which doesn't help me much at all. Crap. Well played. I guess I should have seen that coming. I should have done something about that in the last turn. That's okay then. I can still take this. Probably not really, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It's still pretty early in the match. Charge. Uh, this card has charge. That basically means it can attack without having to wait. This is really good for right now, though. So I'm going to do this first in hopes that I get one of those uh, totems. That gr oh, no, it was a searing totem. This one here gives me spell power, which means that this does more damage. But I'm going to go ahead and play that now. Hopefully it'll hit something good. Oh yeah. And then we'll go ahead and get rid of this guy. Alright. And now my Searing Totem is doing more damage. Because it's next to that other one. I'm told that this is a... Uh, 
particularly annoying. <laughs> Well, I've lost control of the board, <laughs> so this is no good. This, however, makes me happy. Go ahead and do this. That way maybe I can have a little weenie card out there that I can just Tromps his field with. I've got a couple with charge in my deck somewhere. It'd be really nice if one of them would show up now. Or that could happen also. Jane of Proudmoore is a mage. It's really like spell heavy. And does a lot of damage and all kinds of fun stuff like that. I'll be honest, I don't think I'm going to win this one. Curse you, Todd. Ready to ride. Yeah, he's pretty much got me at this point. I've lost control of the board. I don't have anything that can handle this. Ready I burned all my cards out too early. But at least I have a couple taunts out on the field now, so... That'll mitigate some of that damage I'm about to take when this guy just mops the floor with me. There's that one. And that one. Yep. And now I'm just going to take a bunch of damage. Yep. I have very much lost control here. Might as well concede this one. Well I've lost at this point. You win this one. So that was my horrible shaman deck. Okay, so it looks like I've got two quests here that will give me gold if. I win games with a priest, so let's go ahead and put together a priest deck and see how that goes. I don't have any priest cards at all, but we'll see what we can do here. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to spend a lot of time on this. I'm just going to do the suggest a card thing, which basically it'll take a look at what's in your deck already. And uh, you can use that to build the deck, really. It's, it suggests the best possible of... you pick three, one of the three cards, basically. So, whenever minions heal, draw a card, double a minion's health, and deal five damage to the enemy hero. Let's do that. I like a lot of spell-heavy stuff. And then deal two damage. And then deal five damage. <laughs> I do also want to get a lot of draw, though, so... Let's see, draw some cards... Whenever minions heal, draw a card. Uh, go ahead and get the second one of those. Hmm. And why not this one too? This one could be really handy whenever I play it, I just get a copy of a random card from the opponent's hand. Uh, double that one up, second one there, so there's a third of my deck out of the way. And we need some more minions here, so we'll do this one because when it comes onto the field, um, Battle Cry is whenever it comes onto the field, uh, but whenever it comes onto the field it summons a 1-1 one -one Murloc Scout, so that's two for the price of one there, but we do need some taunt. So I'll go ahead and get the Frostwolf Grunt here. These are great. They multiply your... This is a force multiplier here. Uh, adding an extra attack to any other minions that you have on the field. And 
then this one here. A little bit more taunt, maybe. Uh, this one, basically if I have seven cards in my hand when it comes onto the battlefield, uh, this is going to have seven health, because this is one of the cards that won't be in my hand, so it's this plus six. Um, but I still want to maintain that board control, so we'll go with that. This is great, because I'm doing those damage cards, so that spell damage will up that a lot. More heals. Okay, Death Rattle is basically the opposite of Battle Cry. Whenever it dies, it does that effect. I don't like the all characters thing, because that affects mine too, and characters as minions and what you're playing as. Uh, but I'll do this one. It's a nice higher end card. Get a little bit more heal going. These are fun because of the whole plus one, plus one thing. A little bit over a third of the way done here. Looks like our ramp is a little bit heavy here, so let's go for some low-cost cards. Some more taunt. This might come in handy. Destroy a minion with three or less attack. card draw and some low end cards. A little bit more taunt. A little bit more heals. And for my last card, go ahead and get this cobbled geomancer. Alright, so that's that. Let's go ahead and give this thing a try. See if I can win me a game. Get me some gold. play another casual match. Not too keen on losing what little bit of rank I have. Cheater McCheaterson. And of course it's a hunter. They do a lot of damage and they can just flood the field with minions. Let the hunt begin. The light shall but I go second begin. this time, which means not only do I get an extra card in my hand, I also get... I'm gonna keep all these. I also get the coin, which basically gives me an extra temporary mana crystal for that turn. So on on my first turn, I can, cost, I can cast something that costs two mana, which is nice. Get some higher end stuff on the field within the first turn. I don't actually know like what's better, like if it's better to go first or second. I I like going second, but I tend to do better when I go first, so I'm not really sure. I, it feels like I'm doing better when I go second. <laughs> then again, that could just be because I played a bunch of mage before. Maybe it's better for mages. Who knows? So throw this bad boy out there. Oh, I forgot to say hello again. Greetings. Start off right, dealing with two damage. Uh, my hero power is I restore two health. His hero power is he does two directly to my hero. So that's, that's that. Starting out with a nice basic little minion there. I should probably get some taunt on the field too, but it's not super important right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and burn this coin so I can get this guy out of here. Plus this here board. Which he's probably gonna oh god, I hate this card. Okay. It's always something big. Yep. <laughs> four four with taunt, of course. God, what do I have that can handle that? Absolutely nothing. Ah, jeez. Okay, what did I just draw? Restore two health, all friendly characters. 
Alright, so... I'm gonna go ahead and do this so that he can at least survive a hit from the taunter. And then I'm gonna get my own taunt on the field there. attempt to do something about this, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. I'll get rid of my board for it, but now he's only got one health, so should be a little bit easier to handle next turn. Added benefit of that is either thing that he attacks me with would die, because he has to go for my taunter first. Except for that. <laughs> See, now this is what I'm talking about. Hunter's ridiculously OP. It does not make me a happy panda. <sighs> Let's get a little bit more on the field, shall we? And a little bit more taunt for just in case he's... I, God, I really want to get rid of this guy. And that's okay, because I'm not a doctor, so he's got to go for that first. And of course he throws out a charge there. Two charges. There's a lot of charge in Hunter decks, I've noticed. Played. Well played, sir. Okay. Let's see what I get. Play the gamble here. But, okay. Sure, why not? 3 2 and a 3 2. Still got some health to burn, so I'm not worried about healing myself just yet. I just want to get something on the field because he's got so much crap. not looking good. Okay. I'll get this out on the field so I can get some of my health back. It's not helping me much, but at least now I can get rid of this taunter. And mitigate some of that damage that he was about to throw my way. I know I'm about to take it right back in the face, but... <laughs> I'm going to hold out as long as I can on this one. I'm not confident, however. Wonder faster, bruh. What you want? Of course you would put more taunt out. Why wouldn't you put more taunt out? Yep, bring the hurt. Come on. Onesie. But at least his heaviest hitter is gone now, so that's cool. I'm not doing too well on the health front right now. <laughs> Five damage to an enemy hero. That's good. That's really handy. So get something else on in the field, plus it'll give me an extra, extra little bit of health there. But he may be able to end it this turn. 
so we'll see. See if I can hang in for one more turn. I gotta get control of this board back now. If I have any hope at all. Which I don't. Now that he's got all that crap out. One point. One hit point remaining. But I can at least get some taunt out there, so that's nice. Ready for action! So I need to get rid of his taunters, so I guess I'll start with this guy. He's gonna one-shot my taunter, and that's the game. He beat me. Oh man. Game over. So this is why I don't like playing priests. <laughs> Not only am I terrible at it, but I don't have the cards. I still have the cards to build a decent free stack. But that's nice. I should put those in the deck. So that's Hearthstone. <laughs> and that's me getting my ass kicked in Hearthstone. Uh, I'll do more videos like this, uh, just to show you some of the progress and other quests and classes and things like that. I really want to show you guys a mage. Uh, I, I tend to do best with mage. Uh, probably because I've built a better deck with mage, but but I'll see you guys next time.